From a massive steel support beam that tipped over a truck in the United States, and a train derailment in Russia that crushed several cars in a parking lot, to a burst pipe in Moscow that flooded the street with hundreds of gallons of gross water, and a logging truck in Cambridge, Ohio that couldn't survive a tight turn. Here are 10 catastrophic failures caught on dashcam. May 31st of 2016 was an average day in Moscow, Russia. Then, something stirred underground. A line of parked cars was in for a disgusting surprise when an underground pipe suddenly ruptured, setting a cascade of murky water in every direction. We do not want to know what else was running through those pipes. It's tough to see through the dirty windshield, but it looks like there was enough gunk to flood the street. The car parked over the blast site wound up on its side. While several cars were damaged, there was nobody around when the pipe randomly burst. Our driver is lucky they forgot to turn off their dash cam after they parked. Or maybe they were trying to capture something else. Russia has more dash cameras than anybody. That's because the corrupt legal system rarely favors first-hand accounts of collisions. So, people need to make sure they're recording to prove their cases in court. We bet this car wasn't the only one who captured the bursting pipe. On May 27th of 2014, several cars escorted an oversized load from Abingdon, Virginia to Sevierville, Tennessee. But this wasn't your ordinary big haul. This was a massive steel beam that was too big for the average flatbed. So they took a slightly different approach. The front end was placed on the semi-truck, while the back end sat on its own platform. The middle portion was supposed to stabilize everything, but that didn't work out so well. As you can see, there's nothing connecting the rear platform to the semi-truck. They must have assumed the steel beam was heavy enough to keep everything in place. Keep your eye on the rear as it comes around this turn. Things look okay at first, but it drifts toward the barrier. Then, smash! The steel beam slides off and tips over, dragging the cab with it. Our driver hops out of the car and sprints across the beam to make sure his partner is okay. Moments later, another man comes to the rescue. They climb into the cab and rip the door open. By the end, it looks like they got the driver out. And we're not sure where along the journey this accident took place. We imagine it caused a serious traffic jam while crews cleaned it up. In the Brazilian state of Santa Catarina, a truck driver decided to strap a pool to their flatbed. Now, this isn't an uncommon practice. When pools are built, they usually have to be transferred as one solid piece. That said, they typically travel horizontally, not vertically. On June 8th of 2018, drivers behind our pool towing trucker learned why pool transport is a risky business. Yeah, low good, <laughs> In case you're wondering, it costs between $1,500 and $3,500 to ship a fiberglass pool. It depends on how far away you live from the manufacturing plant. That said, the average pool costs about $35,000, so trying to save on shipping is just being cheap. Now, we're not sure if this trucker was a professional or if he was trying to save a buck. We're leaning toward the latter. You're definitely not supposed to rig a pool like that. It basically became a giant sale. Nakhon Patom is a city in central Thailand with a long history dating back over 2,000 years. The city is home to many religious sites, including a famous Buddhist temple called the Pra Patom Chedi. Nowadays, the city is about as modern as any other. Back in 2020, a man was driving downtown with his friend when he caught quite the scene on his dash cam. <laughs> Oh, 
So what happened? Well, 19-year-old Nitikan Srikin Pao fell asleep at the wheel while driving his truck and crashed clean into a telephone pole. Once the first pole goes down, it immediately causes an electrical explosion on the lines closer to the driver. The weight of the first pole is enough to pull down more poles and the most dangerous domino effect you'll probably see all day. It's not long before our driver is caught in the mix. He turns down his music and quickly pulls off the road before things get worse and a pole lands on his car. Believe it or not, the teen driver actually tried to escape the scene by reversing out from the carnage, but his left arm was broken so he wasn't able to drive properly and eventually gave up his escape efforts. Once emergency services arrived, he was rushed to the hospital and was soon released. Thankfully, the power lines crashing down did not hurt anybody. According to Police Lieutenant Colonel Satapon Paha, they planned on assessing the total damage and billing the young driver. Hopefully, his insurance covers it. Shaoxing is a prefecture-level city on the southern shore of Hangzhou Bay in Zhejiang Province, China. It's home to about 5.2 million people and one lucky driver who narrowly avoided a serious injury. On March 26th of 2020, Mr. Zhang was driving down the expressway, minding his own business. Then, out of nowhere, something came flying through his windshield. Prepare to have a new fear unlocked. According to reports, the object was a rear bumper that had fallen off a truck. It stopped less than two centimeters from Mr. Zhang's head. That's about the size of a large staple. After a little investigating, the police determined that the bumper had fallen off and was sitting on the road. The driver ahead of Mr. Zhang tried to avoid it but ended up running it over. It bounced over their car and plunged through Mr. Zhang's windshield. Two centimeters to the left, and Mr. Zhang's day could have gone very differently. Cambridge, Ohio is a small city about 80 miles west of Columbus. It's home to about 10,000 people and one terrible truck driver. On January 21st of 2016, a local man pulled behind a logging truck when he noticed the trailer looked a little unstable. Every time the truck took a turn, all the logs would lean to one side. At some points, the trailer came off the ground, only to land safely again. Our driver knew something was bound to happen, so he started recording. From what we can tell, nobody got hurt during the crash. It looks like our driver has a crack in their windshield, but we can't say if the accident caused it. Apparently, the first half of the 2010s was a bad time for logging truck accidents. Between 2011 and 2015, there were 383 crashes, up 33% from the five years prior. Most of the serious ones involved rollovers like this. More than half involved another vehicle. It may have something to do with how old these trucks are. The average logging truck is about 13 years old. Meanwhile, the average commercial truck is only 7.6 years old. Shuzhou, China is a major city in Jiangsu province. 
It's home to just over 9 million people and one unlucky commuter. June 27th of 2023 was a typical day in the city. Traffic was flowing at a steady pace, but Mother Nature was about to shake things up. Keep your eye on the bus and the car that comes up behind it. The bus pulls forward, but dips awkwardly into the pavement. You can see where the road collapsed, nearly causing the bus to fall in. The white car never saw it and drove over the sinkhole like a booby trap. A few good Samaritans rushed to help the driver and his passengers out of the car. Officials arrived later on and surrounded the area with giant yellow barriers. It seems like they didn't appreciate our camera person trying to record the sinkhole. Texarkana is a small city on the border of East Texas and Southern Arkansas. In fact, there are two versions of the same city on either side of the border. On October 15th of 2005, police dash cameras captured a massive explosion on the Arkansas side. Around 4.56 a.m., Corporal Randy McAdams responded to a call about two Union Pacific trains colliding in the rail yard. He was heading toward the scene when a call came over the radio. One of the trains had punctured a tank full of propylene, a compressed flammable gas. It was way too dangerous to approach, and Corporal McAdams was about to learn why. McAdams drove backward for over 60 seconds while his dash cam recorded the massive blaze. When he arrived on the scene, he recalled driving through a low fog drifting near his tires. But that wasn't your average fog. It was the propylene gas spreading around the area. If he hadn't backed up so far, his cruiser could have gone up in flames. The explosion cost $2.5 million in damage, most of it to the trains and tracks. The fire spread quickly after an unknown ignition source triggered the blaze. About 3,000 people within a one-mile radius were told to evacuate. We can't say for sure how many did. In the landlocked province of Jiangxi, China, a police officer captured a once-in-a-lifetime failure on his dash cam. It was Christmas Eve of 2015. The officer pulled through a toll booth and quickly caught up with a truck full of bricks. Apparently, the bricks put too much strain on the rear axle. Our officer goes through the toll and spots the truck up ahead. He eventually catches up, but can't get around the slow truck on the one-lane highway. Then, out of nowhere, the rear axle fails, causing the truck to collapse and roll over the barricade. One of the tires rolls towards the officer, who quickly throws his cruiser in reverse to avoid getting hit. Moments later, the driver climbs out of the truck and sprints after the runaway tire. We're not sure what the officer is saying at the end, but it's probably along the lines of, buddy, what happened? Thankfully, the driver wasn't hurt when the truck nearly rolled over. We imagine it took a while to clear the road of debris. Cherepovets, Russia is a major city about 330 miles north of Moscow. It's a critical industrial center in northwestern Russia. They specialize in steel manufacturing and export to over 50 other countries. Some of that steel travels by freight train. On July 20th of 2021, one of those trains lost control on the tracks and wound up in a parking lot. We imagine these owners weren't too happy when they returned to their cars. It's hard to tell what the train hit. We're thinking it overran the track and smashed into a pile of dirt or some kind of barrier. But instead of stopping, the train cars rode up the pile and into the parking lot. Next time, these drivers will think twice before parking near the tracks.
Overtaking cars on the highway requires patience and precision. If you're not careful, you could accidentally run someone off the road. Unfortunately, there are impatient drivers out there who think their destination is more important than everyone else's. They weave in and out of traffic, often causing other people to get in accidents. Take these reckless drivers and chump on Thailand, for example. This video is a shining example of how one bad driver can cause a catastrophic domino effect. The small truck was the cause of everyone's problems. They had no qualms about tailgating the two trucks ahead of them. So the trucker in the left lane tried getting over to let this maniac pass. However, that caused the other truck to veer right and crash into a ditch. In a twist of irony, our smaller truck driver ends up crashing as a result of his own impatience. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.